Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing some very relaxed sketching with my ballpoint pen and I'll be using my sketchbook, this big round stick grip purple pen, as well as I picked a image off of Pinterest to use as a reference. While I'm sketching, I thought it would be fun to address uh, some of the benefits I've recognized since I've started using a ballpoint pen for sketching. And I know um, when I tell people that I like to use pens for sketching, some people get a little like shocked. I don't know why. Well, I guess I do know why. It's because you can't erase. And erasing is a crutch for a lot of people when they're drawing. And I, I don't think it necessarily needs to be. And um, I hope after explaining to you what I've learned and the benefits of using a ballpoint pen, that you too will try and to do it as well and I think you'll find it very very helpful so uh, one of the benefits besides uh, a mechanical pencil you don't have to sharpen a ballpoint pen it's fantastic and if you use uh, a ballpoint pen as much as I do you will recognize the difference between a full pen and an empty pen and if you're running out the door and you grab a pen you will know oh that one's empty I'm gonna have to grab a different one <laughs> so it's wonderful I, I love that I'm a very lazy sharpener so pens are just <laughs> the way for me to go um, also another benefit of using a ballpoint pen is that you can't erase and you may be thinking well not being able to erase that's kind of a fault of the pen it's more of a benefit of using a pencil that you can erase which I would agree that erasing is pretty cool and it's useful for a lot of things but I believe when you're learning to draw or sketching or just experimenting the ballpoint pen is the way to go because you can't erase um, when you can't erase you're the mindset is different and you may not notice it at first but the more you use the ballpoint pen you'll realize your, um, your, your brain is paying attention to a lot of different things when you're using the pen, um, especially when you're using a reference like I am. I'm looking for all the shapes in that uh, reference because I don't want to have to restart the sketch. So I'm paying attention to a lot more uh, little details that maybe if I was sketching with a pencil, I'd be a little bit looser with or I'd be a little bit, you know, um, more relaxed I think is the word and I think because since I've started using a ballpoint pen my art has just improved <laughs> in general and um, when you can't erase mistakes um, you really think about each line as you place it on the paper at least that's how it goes for me and um, I'm not gonna go as far to say as you're like learning to draw <laughs> twice as fast but you are um, you're analyzing everything a little bit differently and the more that I've used a ballpoint pen, I've actually learned to be a lot more confident with my strokes and my lines and my art in general. Because when you don't have that crutch of being able to erase, um, you're... <laughs> you see the way your art turns out in the end and sometimes it turns out really good and you realize that like you are improving and you're getting better and you don't need an eraser all the time and you can trust yourself with the strokes you're making and it's just a little little thing that I feel like has improved my confidence with my art and just you know made me more excited to draw more in the future. Um, another benefit of using a ballpoint pen that I've noticed is it's helped me train my wrist to um, what's the, uh, add more variety to the pressures that I'm applying to the paper, if that makes any sense. So with a ballpoint pen, I can actually get quite a few different tones. Um, so like I can get dark thick lines or I can get thin um, light lines. And since it's a pen, you can't like, <laughs> there, there are some limits to it. But um, since I've used a ballpoint pen, I've learned that, you know, those first guideline sketches that you're creating, I guess this should have been my first tip, but whatever. <laughs> um, you want those to be so light because you can't erase them later. And if you end up with a character that has a straight line down their face, it's going to be really, really obvious. And sometimes it still shows up in the end because again, you're using pen, but I feel like that adds a little to the character. I know, it's just fun it's texture but you don't want it to be super obvious or in the way of the details of like the eyes the nose and the mouth so you learn to draw very very lightly with it and again this all comes with time and uh, teaching yourself to use a pen um, but you learn that those lines that are either guidelines or ones that you're not entirely sure of um, that you draw just lighter. And I believe it's just really, really good for your wrist. I, a couple, I said a year or two ago, I went through a spat where 
I was having a lot of pains in my wrist and it was very difficult to draw and I think it stemmed a lot from just gripping the pen or the pencil too tight and using a mouse too much. So um, when I started using a pen, like I learned to draw lighter and I also learned that you need to stretch your wrist before you draw and things like that. But <laughs> there's a lot of healthy benefits to learning to draw lighter. And that's actually one of the tips I would probably give a very beginner artist because I feel like a lot of people when they start drawing they just they take that pencil and they just shove it into the paper and they're like yeah i'm drawing and like that's way too dark and then they go to erase it and it doesn't even erase so i think you need uh just learning to draw lighter is one of the i wish someone had told me at the get-go you know <laughs> that's just draw lighter and build up you know not every line has to be <laughs> darker than than the bottomless abyss okay like it's just it also doesn't need to make a crevice in the paper if you're creating a crevice in the paper you're drawing too hard that's also that's just an extra bonus tip you know it doesn't even have anything to do with the ballpoint pen um oh and one of my favorite benefits let's get it over with i'm so excited Woo. <laughs> my favorite benefit of using a ballpoint pen in your sketchbook is that it doesn't smudge um if you're using one of those juicy pens like a fountain pen or you know, just a juicy ballpoint pen. Um, those, I don't like those. I like the cheap. <laughs> the cheapest pen you can get is the best pen for sketching. At least that's my opinion. Um, these big round stick grip purple pens that I use are, I feel like you get, you can get 12 for $2. I think I've gotten it even cheaper on Amazon. Like if you just watch the price, um, cheap is the way to go. So <laughs> yeah. Um, and when you do that, uh, you're using a pen and the ink dries very, very fast because it's, it's not, you know, gushing out of the bottom of the pen. And you have these nice lines. And when you go to close the sketchbook, you're not gonna have any problems. Or when you're sketching on the, the other side of the page afterwards, you're not gonna have any problems. Or if you ever draw like a mermaid hanging out with an octopus in your favorite blue color race pencil, and it turns out really, really well, and you spend a lot of time on it, and then you like turn the page and start drawing on the other side. And uh, it, uh, you know, you just draw something kind of boring. It didn't even turn out that great. But then a couple days later, you know, you open your sketchbook and you're like, oh, I kind of want to feed my ego and look at that awesome sketch I made the other day. And you open it up and it's just a big blue blob um that can't happen when you use a pen so i definitely suggest using a pen so you don't have to live through that horror oh, sadness <laughs> oh, i'm not over that yet am i Ooh, i really like to sketch okay leave me alone um oh and my final tip or i guess benefit i don't know i'm using the word tip it's a benefit the final benefit that i've noticed when using ballpoint pens especially from my sketchbook is that you can add uh washes very very easily like these i'm using the ohu i don't know brush pens like a dual tip brush pen i don't know what they're called um and you can just add that right on top um i can add washes behind it for texture or i can actually use it to uh, add uh, tones to the sketch and I've actually in other pages not in this one specifically um, I've actually used it to add just color to the sketch and I don't have to worry about the pen bleeding because it's all dry and it's very very handy I think I've also not very often but I've used ballpoint pens for sketching and then used like alcohol based markers on top of them like the OU markers or art and fly markers and you really don't get any bleeding of the line i feel like once i got minimal bleeding but maybe i did it too soon after sketching or something but yeah you really don't have to worry about weird smudges or like if you use a pencil and then you use a marker on top of it you sometimes you get pencil like all over the marker and it's just ugly so yeah you don't have to worry about that so that is definitely a plus anyway <laughs> i feel like i've been talking for a really long time but i'm like out of breath <laughs> um, feel free to let me know if you use a pen for sketching and if you have any other benefits <laughs> that I missed. Anyway, um, while I've been sick, I've had some amazing people reach out to me through email to express their own stories of like um, issues that they're going through and I really appreciate those. I've been reading all of them. I think I responded to all of them. But I'm not sure, so that's why I'm kind of shouting them out now. And I also, I want to thank specifically Lanxy Arts and Maria for drawing me these two pictures. They're so cute. Maggie, and I think she's farting a heart. I don't know. Either way, I love it. And then a picture of myself in my boots and that adorable waffle shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want one. Um, yeah, thank you both. Uh, you're beautiful people who draw beautiful art. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, let's wrap this up. 
I actually have to leave right now. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.